Make sure you've got your passports and your cameras ready because we're going sightseeing tonight in Leo. Let's all go to France together. Hello folks, welcome back. So, as the intro says, we're going to Leo in the second Champions League group stage game. We got off to a fantastic start. Eagle Eye viewers will be able to see it. But we will go over the transfers that happened in the window, or lack thereof. We will go over the recent fixtures. And then we will play Leo tonight. Now, I don't know what's happened with this team this year. But over the course of the last 24 months, I'd say, Something's really clicking in Europe, and domestically. You'll see what I mean very soon. So, let's go jump in and see the transfers. There we go, I remember to move myself first. How about that? Right, not a lot happened um, in the lead up to deadline day. A lot of transfers out or loans. I don't think I made... No, I didn't make any moves out. But one move came in. And that was a cover for the left back. Fun enough, it's another uh, Sheik player. And that was Andrej Tra Traxal. I've probably murdered his name, so um, Frag Raptors, if you're watching, I'm really sorry, but I can't wait to get your top. If you guys don't know about that, check out uh, FM Greeno's Borkus Cup uh, recent episode. I won a top that I wasn't expecting to win, and my missus is really annoyed because I won a North football top. Aye. The joys of being lucky. Now, speaking of luck, let's go look at these recent fixtures. And trust me, it's interesting. Uh, so we can see the league there. Uh, we're still on... So I should be over there. <laughs> um, we're still unbeaten. Um, we've won nine, drawn two. I'll take that for a start. First 11 games. Closest rivals, Vojtvina, who we drew with. Uh, they're three points behind. Then Partizan's a further three points behind. So, league-wise, I think we're going to dominate again domestically as long as we keep our head down and just keep chugging along. However... There's what I'm saying about the Champions League. That's interesting. It's us then Leo. Uh, Leo bet Juventus. And also we bet Real Madrid. So that's interesting. Do I believe that we've got a chance to win this group? Who knows. Do I believe we've got a chance to qualify? Who knows. And I ain't playing 4-3-3. Right, I'm playing 4-3-1. I've got faith in it. I got my result against Real Madrid. So why won't I get my result out in France? So... On that note, folks, let's go meet the XI for tonight. Here it is. And there's one big thing that you're seeing. You're not seeing Daku. There's an issue with that. He's tore his hamstrings out for two to three months. That's fun. But Busaid came in. He kept a clean sheet in the last game, so I'll give him that. Um, but what I'll say before I read out the team is, guys, I do apologise about the randomness in my hair recently. Walk down here. What am I going to do? I can't get to a barber's. So, playing for us is Busaid in goals. Papal, Balzals, Vera, Mesa. Illich and Nikolic are our central mids. Our three attacking mids of Sivitovic, Delar, and Arietta. Up top, Vudo Selvic. On the bench, Matfumo, Sarovic, Alsic, Stralic, Irikovic, Pakras, Nisovic. There you go. There's our XI. Plus, I'm not going to start doing that. That, that was something we doing a real bad X Force. So, yeah, there you go. Start 11. Let's go see the Leo team. Let's see if we recognize any names. Now, before we get into looking at our team, I've got two things to mention. One, I want you right now to hop over on Twitter and follow me at FM underscore Edinburgh. And you might be saying, well, why? Why? Why should I? Not only do I put great banter, I find brilliant football tops for you guys to find. Amazing. I sometimes recommend products which I use um, for gaming. And I also interact with everyone, like I do with my comments. Get to that in a second. But I like to promote. So on my Twitter, I will promote other content creators. Because I feel that, yeah, our market might be saturated a little bit. But others deserve a chance. So make sure you go over to my Twitter right now. At FM underscore Edinburgh. The other creators that you might like. You might see a Canadian that you like. Or someone based in London who's a Chelsea fan. Who knows? 
There's other people out there. Go find them. Okay. Obviously watch me. And when you watch me, this is bringing up my second point. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a wee comment. Let's break these analytics. Let's get let's boost this channel up. I know that you guys will do this for me. And I'll do it for you guys back. If you are a um, content creator. But let's get over this whole teachiness, shall we say? Don't like it. Let's go look at their team. Now, just going through this, Jonathan Acone, Angel Gomez, Jonathan David. Now, don't leave me a um, comment. Isn't Jonathan David a wonder kid? Is it either this FM or the previous FM? Someone tell me. Pietro Pellegrini. Wow. They're the types of players that we can't attract because, oh, I don't like the server infrastructure. Well, alright. We've got hooses. You can live in a house, can't you? You know. That's the way I see it. But, I want you to go rally the troops. You guys, sit tight and I'll be right back. The early highlight for us, and it's just the way. Good. We're testing nice and early. What we should be doing. Oh, Venice went one up on Madrid. Well, now that's interesting. Oh, corner for us. Illich, Sivatovic, Illich, Stella, Illich. Oh, God, they're going to counter on us. In the wing. Jonathan David. No, I did highlight him. Oh, Balzals. Well, I'm my laddie. See, a player like Balzals is just brilliant. And he'll go into their corner. So we. Okay, that's that. A free kick. And it's just wide. Now, you'll see that um, both sides not being tested as of yet. And to me, that's good in a sense because he's just getting back in. He's not up to full stride yet as a player. But at the same time, it's quite a worry because I'd like my player to get tested early on. Just so he can get his hands to the ball and feel it. Do you know what I mean? Maybe you can do that David James catch and sniff. Don't know what I'm talking about. Find it. It's hilarious. Uh, but, early on, we're doing alright. No, no. I'll take that in front. Oh, corner. Illich. And it's that weird angle. With Tovich. Illich. All the way back to Balzals. The yellow. Hmm, need to keep an eye on that. Vera. Illich. With Tovich. Vesilvich, Delar, Mesa, Elich, Vesilvich, lovely pass in here, and it's 1-0, Vesilvich, get in, yes, <clears throat> I'm telling you now, right, that laddie is great, and there's another FMR who's doing partisan called Mr. Spaceman, I messaged him and said, you have got a world of there, if anyone is starting to save, Someone in Europe, get him. He will do wonders. Balzars needs to come off at half time, I think, because he's getting too many talking to. Oh, wait, oh, what a goal, Jonathan McConey. You know what? It's one of those goals you just can't help but applaud. Well done. Right. So, let's get the carryover going. Okay, we've got we thrown here. Arietta's placed it back. I watched the tree. He's it. But Arietta's got it. Cellar. Oh, no. They've got a counter now. Coney. Oh no, Balzal, what are you doing? No. Be a dive, be a dive, be a dive, be a dive. Mm. Not ideal. Right. Um well, let me go sort this out. And we'll watch the penalty. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken Seller off on attacking mid. I've placed um, Erikovic to swap with Seller. But now I'm wondering what's going on here. Who's that wee person? That is weird. Anyway, and that's goal 2 1. You know what, you got a penalty, you know it's either going to go in or be saved in this game, so it is what it is. Although, our players run out of the box, so ref, can we get a retake? You follow law? No? Okay. So now we've got to play the last, um, what's that? Half plus 10, so 55 minutes with 10 men. France. That's not tall order. However, who knows what could happen? We dominated them early on. Let's see. Let's wait and see. 
Let's see this at half time, make a worry. I mean, I don't think much is going to happen. We've got three minutes injury time, which is understandable because there was a penalty. But I think at half time, I'm just going to tell the boys, calm down. Talk about your result. I think we can come away with a result. I hope you guys do too. So I'll see you guys for the second half. Okay, second half has kicked off and we've got a kickoff highlight. That doesn't paint me very well. Watch this, it'll be 3 1 at the end of the round. Connie. Good save, Poseid. Good save, my son. But Tavera, are we going to counter on this? No, there could be something. Nikolic. No, we're not going to counter. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Ilic, Nikolic. Ilic again. Kovic. Is it? Is it? It is! It's Arieta! It's 2 0! Yeah, boy! Feel like doing that 90s head. Well, I don't know what movie that's from, but my hair's gone crazy with it and I don't care. Who at all? 10 men. And do you want to know what I told the boys at half time? Dig in. I didn't say they're underdogs. It's okay, we're down to 10. No, no, I said, dig in. We deserve this win, and we do. If we hadn't had more shots, if we hadn't had more possession, I would have said, I'll oh, just play nice and calm. We've only got 10. No. Why should we? Just because we've got 10 men doesn't mean that we're any worse off. We can still do our normal stuff. And what I've done is I've taken one player away. So if I want to go and drop a player back, then I'll drop a player back. That's what I'm going to do. If I want to drop my striker back, I'll drop my striker back. However, I am enjoying this. Two all away in France. Now, last time we were in France, we did get four goals. Which you did see on the channel. But that's what ski with. But Vera's picked that out. Very well done. Mesa. Nikolic, back to Mesa. Oh, lovely little interpass there. Devtovic, wow. We're doing okay. We are doing okay, I would say. Now, this is where it gets tricky for me because we can't take substitution clock. Now, we've wanted to use one sub because of the obvious um, red card. Now, oh god. Oh, it's away. Nope, it's not. Angel Gomez. Jonathan David got put on that. Surely that's offside, no? Right. Okay. Bear with me. I'm going to try and do something. Okay, so for the last sort of 30 minutes, I'm decided I'm going strikerless, okay? So, Vrisselvic dropped to the left wing. I brought off Sevtovic because he was knackered and he wasn't playing the best. I brought on Alkses. And I also done a swap midfield. No, wait, Alkses went in midfield. Or oh, who went in centre? I can't remember who went in centre attacking mid. However, I don't see you doing much, and it's a little corner. And it's 4-2. Yep, it's 4-2. Okay. We can build on this. I'm trying to pause it here. Can't find one. We only can see the one goal with 11 men. There we go. There's a positive. We scored a goal with 10 men. There's another positive. Right. Let's just keep the positives going. So, you've not really seen much content in the second half. You've seen three goals. However, it's been over and done with. The first half dragged out for ages. I think that's because... The penalty and the red card decision and all that jazz. But this is... Oh, what's happening here? We're going to get a miracle two goals in two minutes. I mean, I'd love a complete FM style. But it's went over the bar. So I've just decided to keep it going here. Um, I just want you guys to know that not to expect losses every time on the channel. But what I do want to say is just stick with me now. Let's say we're coming back. I want to talk to the players. See, I told you, when strike calls. Karkaras is the one who went attacking mid. There we go. Right. I want to talk to the players, and I'll see you guys at the fixture, so you know when to tune in to see me next. So this is where you're next going to see us, and it'll be the home game against Zebra, or as everyone else calls them, Juventus. So we've got a few games in between. We will have the Juventus game as well, so who knows what we'll do away. But, guys, if you enjoyed that, I think that was quite exciting, to be honest. I don't know if I convey the excitement, but hey, who knows? Like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good jazz. You know what I love to see you guys do. And I just want to take this moment once again to thank you for spending this time with me. I'll catch you all next time. Until then, take it easy. Bye-bye now.